So how is Anthem a week after its release? Well, I'm gonna let you guys know, and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, as of this video, it has been a full week since Anthem has launched and what a roller coaster ride it has been for some. This video will be my review of the game and it will contain positive and negative feedback. Since the launch, there has already been three updates to Anthem and the first one was on day one. Now, I understand that a lot of people were actually able to play Anthem a little bit before it was actually officially launched and good on you guys for spending extra money. But on a real note, I understand that there were a lot of people that had many issues when Anthem was launched in the form of connection issues, screen tearing, etc. And I really do feel for you, but I fortunately was one of the few that had none of these issues. Not gonna lie. I had an amazing time playing Anthem, which is why I have been gone for a little bit of time. However, I am back and I am here to give you guys my perspective on the game. At its core, Anthem was a great experience to say the least. Understanding that Anthem is a third party RPG is a very, very important aspect of the game. This is why it is either hard or almost incomparable to other games of a similar genre. As I said earlier, there are positive and negative things about Anthem. Let me go ahead and start with the positive. After completing the first two or three missions, we were able to choose a javelin that we wanted to be. Naturally, I chose the storm. Damage dealing is my go-to when it comes to games. Now, you can argue this day in and day out, but nobody does more damage than a glass cannon. You might be able to get close to it, but a glass cannon can deal serious amounts of damage, but they really can't take a hit. And it's like, I love seeing those big numbers on screen every time I do damage, so being a glass cannon out of the bunch was a no-brainer. The story was clean and straightforward. I go here to do this thing, or talk to this person, kick a little ass with some AoE, and then I head back to Fort Tarsus for the next mission. As for the story, it definitely would get at least a 9 out of 10, and I'll share why it doesn't get a 10 in a few. Even though not much has changed in the forge from the demos, it was easy to navigate and equip my character seals and components that I wanted. Character progression wasn't slow at all. Leveling to level 30 definitely felt right and at a good pace. Knowing when we unlock extra components, blueprints, or the next class was also a great idea that Bioware had implemented. Loot! Yes, let's talk about loot for a second. Now, I didn't bother with any type of loot cave or constantly looting the same chest over and over because that's not really fun in the game. I enjoyed the game how it was meant to be enjoyed, and that is actually playing it the correct way. But what made Anthem really fun is the fact that being able to play with friends and comparing the loot that we got. Like my God Roll Avenging Herald. And I'll actually make a separate video for that. Going from mission to mission, contract to contract, and stronghold to stronghold never got boring. And it's funny because for some reason I even enjoyed doing the side quests. Now, RNG has its ups and downs. You either have good RNG and the RNG gods love you, or you have bad RNG. Either way, having a game like Anthem with RNG, but also having the ability to craft weapons and components, as long as you have the correct blueprints, is amazing. Another great thing about Anthem is the gameplay. And it's funny how every character buttons on the controller are the same, but each character has its own unique way to play them. Character relationships like the one we gain Freelancer, Sentinel, or Arcanist Reputation is well balanced. Even microtransactions aren't even a problem in Anthem, which is amazing compared to other games. Now, this is a whole bunch of good things, but like I did say, there are negatives as well. Like for starters, in the beginning, the character customization. Instead of choosing the features we wanted on our character, we had to choose from a list of pre-made ones. The story was great, but I do feel that it could have had a little bit more cutscenes for those who like a cinematic point of view also seem like there are a little too many pointless communications with certain NPCs that weren't relevant to the story or endgame in any way. And some of the descriptions on weapons or components were very confusing and weren't made too clear on how they actually function. For example, what is the difference between 
gear damage and elemental damage on a storm javelin. I mean, all damage coming from a storm is elemental damage unless Bioware is including weapon damage as gear damage. So it's really, really confusing for some. So because of the confusion, I feel that this should be some type of legend in game that tells us what icon for weapons, gear, and components are and what they actually affect. You know, it's really the little things that make gamers happy. Another issue that I had was the ultimate. Now, there have been many times when I go to pop my ultimate attack and I keep pressing the up button on the D-pad and it doesn't work. Sometimes I actually do this on a whole bunch of mobs in order to stay alive, but activating my ultimate and it not working is actually more frustrating than other things in the game. Also, what is up with the featured store and the regular store selling the same exact items when they are like three feet away from each other? On top of that, all you have to do is use the touchpad and all of the store's items are in the featured section. So what is the point of having the stores at all? Speaking of the stores though, not being able to preview the items that you want to buy before you buy them is a little bit of a hassle. And it's like, why should I invest coin or shards if I can't even see what I'm getting, you know? Besides any of that, I actually had no issues with the game and I am definitely looking forward to the DLC that is coming out. One very huge positive note is that Bioware knows the issues that are going on in the game and they are very very quick to address them or update them in a patch. This behavior from a company goes highly noticed among the community because you don't really see that a lot from other companies so Bioware definitely gets a lot of extra points for that. Now this is not saying that other companies do not do it. I'm just saying that it's being noticed because Bioware has been doing it a lot. But even then, there are a few things that do need to change in Anthem, but I will leave that for a series of videos for you guys instead. One thing that I do hear a lot is tons and tons of people bashing Anthem because of reviews or their experience in the demo. Reviews are great, but why not experience the game for yourself instead of listening to a critic about how they do or don't like a game? Mind you, they're getting paid to do the review no matter what. Another aggravating thing is other YouTubers, not going to say any names, who tell people not to buy Anthem or any game based on their own biased opinions. That's not right. Just because one person doesn't like something doesn't mean other people won't like it as well. Now, I love Anthem and I have enjoyed it since launch and all of my friends have enjoyed it regardless of bad reviews. All I'm saying is be your own person and experience any game how it's supposed to be experienced by actually giving it a chance, even if you have to play it at a buddy's house before you buy it. All the game needs is a chance. So let's chat in the comments down below about what you guys did like or dislike about Anthem so far. Also, let me know which Javelin was your first pick out of the four classes and if you are still playing that Javelin. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.